RailClone 4 introduces a new way to preview geometry in the viewport. In addition to the existing modes that allow you to use full mesh display, points cloud or proxy geometry, RailClone 4 introduces a new quick mesh mode. To illustrate this, here's a tutorial that combines nested generators, also introduced in RailClone 4, with quick mesh mode to display millions of polygons in the viewport. So we're going to create a building with an adjustable height. It's created by splitting the building model into three parts, a bottom part, a top part, and then a repeatable midsection. Because linear arrays are built on the x-axis, we'll rotate these segments and reset the x-forms so that the style compiles correctly. Next we'll add a 1D array generator, add a segment node, and select the bottom of the building from the scene. Wire it to the generator start input, and then we'll set the Y and the Z alignment to pivot to ensure the pieces will jigsaw together correctly. Once we've done this, to save doing it multiple times, we'll copy and paste the segment and import the other two pieces. Wire the top to the generator's end input and the remaining segment to the default input. Now if you look closely, you'll see that the top segment overlaps the middle. We can fix this by changing the default mode to adaptive and this will ensure that only whole segments are used and then the result is subtly rescaled to fill the available space. So great, now we have a complete building. We can use a 2D array to create a block or even a city. So just wire the output of the first generator to the default input of the A2S generator and then give the A2S generator a bit of size. The first thing you'll notice is that the buildings are laying on their side and remember that this is because L1S generators build their array on the X axis so we need to rotate it. Since the output of the generator or nested generator behaves similar to a normal segment we can do this simply by adding a transform node and changing the fixed X rotate setting. To add some variation I'm going to add some material nodes to randomize the color of the buildings. I'm using multiple nodes because there are multiple materials I want to randomize. Once again though you can see that nested generators can be used just like you would a normal segment. Then once that's done Let's expand the size of the A2S array to create some more buildings. And then add spacing between them using the padding properties in the existing transform node. Okay, so where it gets interesting is when you start playing with the nested generator's properties. You can do things that simply are not possible if this was a simple static segment, like randomize the height of the building. Here I'm going to wire a random number node to the L1S array's X size property. So, so far so good, but if I make this array any bigger, it's going to become too much to display in the viewports. Let's see what options I have to change the display. First of all, we could use points cloud, which will be nice and quick, but we'll lose some of the visual fidelity of a mesh based representation. Secondly, we have the most efficient mode, bounding box display mode. We lose all the detail, but because this mode is so efficient, we can drastically increase the size of this array. Now there's also the ability to display the full mesh, but um, if I were to click this button with this many buildings, I might cause some problems. Most likely what will happen is it will disable the object to make sure Max doesn't crash. But in RailClone 4 we have another option called Quick Mesh. This will instance geometry in the viewports, similar to the way it works at render time, making it possible to view much, much more geometry directly in the viewports. And if we activate IPR mode, we can now see that aside from materials, this mode gives us a pretty accurate representation of what to expect at render time. 